Race 37, Walsh Point Hunters chase over two miles, five furlongs. Number one, Sufalini Mullin for Paul Rhodes. Two, Ennery Crime for James Shea. Slenia Pomp for Thomas Rogers is three. Rainbow Italia for Martin Liggins is four. Sambino for Stu Gray is five. Trouble Evelyn for James Shea is six. Keith Cook Monarch for Thomas Rogers is seven. And Max for Alex Cherry makes up eight here. So she each way backers. Three places. Really running. Heathcote Monarch leads him into the first of 19. Run pulling for his head. It's Heathcote Monarch will lead them. Chasing back as they get to the second. They're all very closely grouped here. There we go over it well. Max at the rear was just a little bit slow. It's Heathcote Monarch from Sufalini Moulin, although Sufalini Moulin now takes a keyhole, drops back into the chasing pack all together. Get to the third. Maybe the Heathcote Monarch was a little bit of a slow. Unlucky uh, pet on landing. Straight into the fourth. This time it was uh, a share of Henry Crime that didn't get over it particularly well. Starting to find their positions now. They've all been scrubbed along, just a few little reminders here. We've still got 14 fences to take and over two miles to travel. So we've got time. We get to the fifth. This time was a poor jump, I think, by Trouble Evelyn. There's a slaney upon me that I ripped particularly well. But we're being led by Thomas Rogers, Keith Cook Monarch. Lost out in the previous race by Jane Shea's uh, nostril. So Keith Cook Monarch leads him into the six, takes it well. Slower jump to the rear, slaney upon him that I ripped particularly well. Just Thomas Rogers' other horse. So it's Heathcote Monarch from Sufalini Mullin, Sam Vino, and Wide Trouble Evelyn. It's a fence rainbow in Tarrier and Emery Crime. And wider is Max and Slaney upon at the rear. So Heathcote Monarch leads from Sufalini Mullin. He's got about a three four length advantage. He gets to the seventh of water. He'll take that well. Slaney upon. Didn't want to get his feet wet. Stepped over it a little bit. In the rear. Into the eighth. Slow jump by the leader, poor jump there by San Vino. And the black silk shuffled right back towards the rear. They join Rainbow Italia. Slaney upon as they get to the ninth. We do it again, get into it well. Jump, jump that well is the green silk, yellow sleeves, green cap of Sufalini Marine for Paul Rhodes. They get to the tenth, big ditch. And jump back very well. So with a mile and a quarter to go, halfway through the fences, come down to the eleventh. Over it. It's Heathcote Monarch, Thomas Rogers. Even trouble using for James Shea. They're certainly becoming the Hunter Chase Masters this year, this season. They've got four wins apiece now. From Enery Crime on the inside of Sufalini Mullin. In between those is San Vino. And the wider is Max and Slaney upon. And Rainbow Italia just bring up the rear. San Vino didn't get over that one particularly well. The lead hasn't changed as we come inside the final mile. It's Heath Coke Monarch that's going to lead them down to the next. In trouble Evelyn in second. Sufalini moved in. We'll take the thirteenth well. Chasing pack all again a bit more grouped together now. Sufalini Mullin being reminded again the top weight. Just got that little ledge there. It's Heathcote Monarch still by just a couple of lengths now to trouble Evelyn. Get to the 14th. Better jump by the lead. Oh, we've lost one plane. No, Rainbow Italia's gone. Unlucky Martin. It's two and two racing on the bounce. Uh, you've lost one. But it's Heathcote Monarch that still leads from trouble Evelyn. They get into the 15th. It's going to be all chain. We lost another one there. Max has gone for an extra cherry. Unlucky. So it's an enemy crime that's taken out now from Heathcote Monarch on the inside. Sam Vino between horses and trouble Evelyn wider. Further wider is Sufalini Moulin. There's a couple of lengths back to Slaney upon. So it's Heathcote Monarch still just noses back in front from enemy crime. Sam Vino, trouble Evelyn. Sufalini Moulin, I should think, is going to come from there as they go over the 16th. So four from home, three to jump. 
It's Ennery Crime that takes it up. Ennery Crime from Heathcote Monarch. On the wide outside is Trouble Evelyn between horses is Sam Vino. And we've lost the leader there. Ennery Crime's gone. Puts Heathcote Monarch back in front. It's between the three now. Heathcote Monarch, Trouble Evelyn and Sam Vino. As these three swing right-handed. One trying to run on Sofalini Moulin. I don't think he's going to get there. So nosing in front now as we come into the final straight. And a furlong on a go. They're over the penultimate. Better jump there by Trouble Evelyn. Jumps himself into the lead from Sam Vino. Heathcote Monarch's got nothing left. They get to the last. Poor jump by the lead and Sam Vino jumps himself into the front. Inside the final half of our it's going to be Sam Vino. Sam Vino from Trouble Evening and Heathcote Monarch running on well with Slaney upon. Stu Gray gets his first run to chase win of the season with Sam Vino. Get in. Poor jump really. Not rare to beat uh, James Shayholz in one of these. Trouble Evening in second. 66 to 1. Gee, should have backed it. Heathcote Monarch was third. That was uh, Slaney upon for Thomas Rogers was fourth and Sufalini Moulin for Paul Rhodes was fifth.